Hello folks, Jose here again for another tutorial for uh, WPBasics.org and in this tutorial I'm going to show you an easy way to create a widget area for you to put whatever content you like. In this case we're going to be using a uh, the widget area to display an advertisement but you could really use it to put any content that you would like. In this example we're using Metro the Metro Pro theme and I've inserted this little advertisement here that normally doesn't appear and um, that you can use as well. So uh, let's get started. Well, let's uh, rip out this uh, all this code and I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So as you can see I've ripped out all the code now and the advertisement is no longer there and our first objective is to register the widget area so that we have a widget area somewhere here that we could drag our widgets to. So the first thing we need to do then is go to our uh, text editor and we need to register a widget area. So we'll just call this before content and for content. Uh, in this case, it's the Metro Pro theme. And don't worry about memorizing this code. Try to pay attention more about as to how it works more than anything. And let's just save this and see what we have so far. So let's go back here. So if we refresh this, we can see that this already appears. Now, an easy trick to do so you don't have to memorize this code is to find your um, theme and most likely it already has widget areas such as this one, see here. You could easily just copy this, paste it here and just uh, rename uh, what you need to, a uh, few things there. Like you would rename the before content and this this uh, the name of it and you can put in your own description but that's an easy way to do it. I just happen to have it programmed so that it's a little faster for me. So now that we have it registered, the, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to um, add an action. Action. So we, this is going to let us hook into, a, um, into one of the hooks from Genesis. So we have to go back to our web page first of all. And we're going to go here. And I have a little dandy uh, plugin called Visu the Visual Hook Guide. And I have a tutorial on that. And if you want to learn more about it, go to my website. I'll have a link for that there. So what we want to do is click on this thing here, Action Hooks. Give me a second while I just get fix that. It's doing that because I put this code in. And it's, it's confusing the computer. So let's just get rid of it. That should fix it. OK. So we want to do the see the visual hook guide. So we want to put the advertisement somewhere around here. So let's copy this hook. Okay, copy that. Go back here. Now let's add our action. Action. So let's put that. Give me one second in quotes. Paste that in. Put a comma. And then we gotta name our our <coughs> pardon me our our widget that we're gonna call it. So just put your first two initials is always a good idea, and then you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it uh, before con. Yeah, con. That's fine. Tent. That's that's fine. That should do it. And then let's close that off. And then what we want to do is we want to create a function, function, and then what we want to do just to make sure we don't make any mistakes, copy this, because that's the name of the function we're hooking in. Okay, paste it here, put a little space, okay, and then, and let me just move this up so you can see better. Okay, so now whatever code we put in here is going to uh, appear. So now we're going to put a little code just to display our widget area. Let me just tap this over so it's neater. Okay, tap that. Now display widget area. So all we have to do now is in here, put in the name of our, our 
<clears throat> pardon me, before content is what we called the widget area. Sorry about my, my voice, I have a bit of a cold right now. There you go. Let's, let's get rid of some of these spaces. Okay, save that. Okay, and let's go back to our web page. Let's see if we got that there. Give me a second. So let's refresh this page. And there's a little bit of an error on line 155, it says. So let me just take care of that right now. Give me one second while I fix that. So here we go. I, I put a dash here instead of an underscore by mistake. So let's fix that. Yeah, they don't want you to put dashes. Let's save that. And if we go here, nothing appears yet because it's empty right here. So let's say we wanted to put an advertisement. We would go to our, you know, affiliate page or whatever you have, a copy, copy your, the code that they provide and then just go to your widget area, paste it in. Now it's supposed to look like this. So let's have a look if that works for us. We refresh it. Let's get rid of this and we clear it and there you have it. So now this is going to appear on the front page. If we check out the other pages, you can see it's not there. Now let's say you wanted it the opposite where you didn't want it on the front page. You wanted it in the inside the single posts. So all you have to do is change the hook. So you have to just use your visual hook guide again, go into your action hooks, find where you want it to enter. So let's say we want it to end, be right here, right before the content. So just copy this, this uh, hook, go back into our, our, our uh, text editor. And we're just, all we have to do is change this. Oops. Oh, wait a second, it's giving me a hard time there, there. Change this hook. So we replace it. Let's save that. And let's go back to our page. And let's close this, clear it. So you can see it's not there, but if we scroll down, it's down there. The problem is that, see, all, in order to fix that, that's fairly easy. The default, um, what's it called? The default, I think it's priority for lack of a better word, is 10. So if if the if the widget that is already there is a 10 and the one that you put in doesn't have a, a priority defined, that one's a 10 also. So then what basically happens, it, it displays in the sequence that it's entered. So this was entered after the default text. So it that's why it shows up here uh, at the bottom. Now to change that, we can just change the priority. So just put a right here in your action at the end, just put a comma. Now I said the priority was a uh, 10. So let's make it a nine, one, just one below the default. Okay, then we save that. And if we go back here, we now have the advertisement before the content. And we can see here, that it's no longer on the home page. Now there are a bunch of things you can do and to control uh, where it appears. You could even control on which posts it appears, but I think that's enough to get you going. So I, I hope you like this uh, tutorial. If you have any questions or any comments, just leave them in the, in the comment section and I'll reply to them as soon as you can. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.